this is a basic tutorial for the ultrasonic sensor. So that's a sensor that uses sound in order to uh, see how far an object is. So um, this sensor uses four pins total. Uh, one is for the whoa. One is for the voltage. Two is for the trigger. Three is for echo. And four is for ground. So uh, in order to use this device, you gotta connect your voltage pin and your ground pin. And you gotta select two other pins. Um, so I'm gonna be using 26 and 25. Um, so, just for starters, we're going to declare a variable that we're going to be using, and this is going to be for our trigger and echo, like I said before. BCC and GRAND are already included, so you don't have to worry about declaring those. So, for trigger, we're going to choose 25, um, because it is four pins, and um, our boards are designed to have three pin connection. Uh, I put them at the bottom so that it doesn't interfere with anything else I have connected uh, as well. So I pick 25 and 26. So we're going to have uh, echo and we're going to have uh, trigger. Now in the end, trigger is going to be an uh, output and echo is going to be an input. And we're going to use, I'm going to explain how that's going to work out a little bit later. So on our setup loop, we have to worry about declaring um, trigger and echo. So we're going to say that echo a trigger is going to be an output. And then we're going to decide that echo is an input. And so one of them is basically a receiver. And then the other one is going to act as a transmitter. So one is going to be sending the signal. The other one is going to receive the signal. And the signal is going to take the form of sound. So basically, one is going to uh, send a sound wave. That sound wave is going to travel until it hits an object and bounces back. And then echo is going to wait for that uh, bounce. Uh, the way we're going to do things is if we decide that um, echo, there's nothing in front of echo, it's going to return a zero distance. If there's something, in front of your uh, robot, then we're going to return uh, the number, a number that represents the distance. Uh, I also added zero begin just because that way we can see what we're printing on the screen. And I added a delay just to give it time to prep all that stuff. Uh, next, we're going to do the boy loop. Now, boy loop is going to look very underwhelming. And the reason for that is we're going to create our own little function to use our distance sensors. Um, so in, we're going to hold on on loop for a bit and we're going to create that function. So just as a, for those that don't know, a function is basically you create your little own um, thing that you can call in your program and every time you call it you give it whatever inputs you put you are asking and then using those inputs every time you call them you do whatever actions inside of your function. So we're going to create a function called distance, right? Now distance is going to take two inputs, one called trigger and one called echo. So basically, every time I want to use the function distance, I got to give it those two numbers that represent the pin location for them. And after everything's done, our function is going to return an integer, or it's going to return a number of the form integer. Um, so in here, we're going to put three local variables. The first one is going to be a long that we're going to call duration. So that's how long it takes for the, the signal to bounce and go and then bounce back. We're going to have another one called distance inch. Oh, if I can spell it, distance inch. Uh, this is going to be the distance in inches. And we're going to have one oh, Kanabi, called distance cm, which is going to be our distance in centimeters. So this is for preferences, so um, centimeters are going to be smaller and you know, your units are going to be smaller, so you might be able to be more accurate. 
um, but sometimes specifications ask for different yeah, All right, so we're gonna do in order to make all this work, um, we gotta send a sound signal out first. Um, but before we do that, we want to make sure that our pin for our trigger is off. And then we're going to give it a very small delay in microseconds of two microseconds. Um, and after that, we're going to, again, if I can copy and paste, we are going to call trigger again, but this time we're going to turn it on. We're going to turn it on high. And this is basically the signal that we're going to be trying to get back. So at this point, a signal is going to be shoot out of our uh, ultrasonic sensor, and it's going to travel. Um, and we're going to be sending this signal for about 10 microseconds. Whoa. 10 microseconds. Um, and so for 10 microseconds, we're going to be constantly sending out a signal, and then we're going to turn on off um, a trigger again. So basically, this is just to ensure that we send out a clear um, pulse of sound uh, without any like noise and everything. 